Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on reflections. Uh, at the end of this, you should be able to say, I can perform reflections on and off the coordinate plane, and I can identify reflectional symmetry in plane figures. Okay, so first things first. Line of symmetry um, is also known as the line of reflection. It's a line where you could fold the graph so that the pre-image would fold right onto the image. So for example, let's say this over here uh, is the pre-image, right? <clears throat> if we took this and folded this, if you pictured this like as a piece of paper here, if you folded this over this yellow line, the line of symmetry, it would fold right on top of these other sets of, this other set of wings it looks like over here. So um, this point here would fold right onto that point there, and then that point um, would be, this point would go right on top of that point, so forth and so on, okay? Um, now, with these figures here, how many lines of symmetry do we have? So with a rectangle, it's like you got to figure out where could we draw a line. So if we fold it in half, you would see it would, like one line would fold right on top of the other line. So one of them we could have would be right down the middle here, because if you fold it over this line here, this line will match up with this line. This line will fold right on top of that line, and this line folds onto that line. Okay, you could also do the same thing this way. So you could take the top here and fold it over this blue line down onto that, and that will give you um, another line of symmetry. Okay, with a square, we have the same lines here where we've got, we could fold it in half that way, we could fold it in half this way. And then also, if you think about it, if we fold it diagonally, <clears throat> this point here is going to fold right on top of that point. This line here will fold onto that line, and this line here will fold right onto that line. Okay, and so the other diagonal should also work. Okay, and then equilateral triangle. If we take this here and draw a line right down through the middle of it, if we fold this over, it's going to be fold right on top of the other. And we can also do this line here. And we can also do this line here. So this one's going to have three. So this one's got two. This one's got four. Let's see. Two. This one's got four. And this one's got three. Okay. Um, all right. Reflection is a rigid motion that flips a figure across a line of reflection. Um, <clears throat> every point on the pre-image, P, is also referred to, um, is the same distance from the line of reflection as the corresponding part on the image, or the P, uh, we call that P prime. So here's P, and here's P prime. What they're saying is if we were to go through and measure this distance from P straight over, oops. Uh, let me get this straight, here we go. So if we were to measure this distance from here to here, this distance will be the same as this distance from here to here. So this is going to be the same as that. Just like the same thing if we were to measure from here to here. And then here to here. These are also going to be the same distances. Okay, so that's what this is talking about down here. Okay, let's take a look at um, an example here. <clears throat> so... Uh, we are going to reflect the pre-image across the y-axis and fill in the table. So here's our y-axis. So we're going to reflect this thing over the y-axis. So let's do this. Let's start with the, the easy, the short distance here. So this is a distance of 1. So that means this new C, or we call it C prime, is going to be right over there. This B from the line of... Um, reflection, which is, again, the y-axis, is one, two, three, four spots. So it's going to be one, two, three, four spots from that line of reflect reflection. So there's our new B. And then A, same thing. It's four units that way. So it's also going to be one, two, three, four units over here as well. And so now we can go through and we can actually, I like to plot all the points first and then go through and draw the figure. Okay, so there is the, this is the pre-image, and this is the image. Okay, <clears throat> so the pre-image, coordinate A here is at, let's see, 
let's do this one since it's yellow we'll do that here in yellow so this pre-image a is at four seven um, and then b is at four two and c is at one two okay and then for the the image now the new part a is at negative four seven and B is at negative four two and then C is at negative one two okay and that says now what do you notice about these here so look all the Y's are the same so if we're gonna draw our little let's say we've got X Y to go to our new piece here when we're um, reflecting over the y-axis what we're gonna do all the y's are gonna stay the same right if you notice all the y's are seven two two all the y's are the same and now look all the x's that went from four four one to negative four negative four negative one so now the x's just switch from positive x to negative x okay so that is what's gonna should happen every time we reflect across the y-axis all of our x's are gonna switch from positive to negative or negative to positive and all the y's are gonna stay the same because you'll notice it's all still the same height but now this positive one two turns into negative one two okay um, let's look at this one down here okay so now we're gonna reflect across the x-axis so we're gonna do the same thing this b here is two dis two units that way so we're going to make it two units here this is two units away still two units away c to the first or prime b prime and then this a is all the way up here seven units away so it's going to be seven units down which is right here so there's our a prime okay all right went, went ahead and filled in the pre-image because it's the same as the initial the first one so we just copied that straight across and now our image a is now at four negative seven uh, b is at four negative two and then c is at one negative two so what do we notice about this here all the x's stay the same but now all the y's have changed so now we've got x y now translates to x stays the same and y is now the opposite okay and that should happen also every time we flip over like sorry we rotate reflect about the x-axis the x will stay the same because it's still moving to the right every time and then instead of going up it's going to go down so it's going to be negative it's going to be the opposite of okay okay let's take a little comedy break before we hit the next uh my wife has instituted this open door policy where if one of our kids has a nightmare, they're welcome to come in our room and pee in our bed. <laughs> Luckily, that only happens every night. You ever slept next to someone that's wet the bed? Delicious. You're asleep, right? So when you wake up, your first thought is, oh my God, I wet the bed. Then your next thought is, eh, it's not that wet. I'll just, I'll just scoot over a little bit. If I pretend to be asleep, maybe she'll deal with it. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Hey, while you're up, can you make me a sandwich? Thanks, honey. Okay. So just to quickly uh, reiterate what we were just talking about before, an image reflected about the y-axis goes from xy to negative xy, and then an image reflected about the x-axis is has xy go to x and negative y. Okay? All right. Ooh, that did not work. Okay, let's try this again. Mr. Scott arranges the tuba players in an arrow formation shown below. Uh, then the tuba player players undergo a reflection that is described by the function x y goes to 8 minus x and then y Draw the reflection and then identify the line of reflection. So um, Let's just plug some points in right. Let's see. We've got this one here Oops, Let's change that back to blue a little easier to see. Okay, so this here is at 4 5 so we start at we were at four five and if we plug that in eight minus four turns into four 
and then our five just stays five. Our, all of our y's are going to stay the same. So we actually have the exact same point. Interesting. So let's try this one here. That one is at two six. So that means it's going to go to eight minus two is six, and then six as well, because the y's are all going to stay the same. So we're at six. Oops, six six. Six and six, so it's right there. That's going to be this line right here because that those are the two points we just did. Let's find this other one down here, which is at two four. So we know the y is going to stay the same, that's just going to be four, and then the x is going to be eight minus two, which is six. So that's at six and four, right. There we go. Okay, we're starting to see what it's going to look like. So it's going to go like this. It's going to go over two, up, like so, right? So that should be our new, that's our draw reflection. And then now the line of reflection is where are we going to put that line where we're going to fold it? Right here, right down the middle here, right here at four, right? So now identify the line of reflection every single point along that line. Any vertical line is always going to be x equals because all along this line right here, x is 4, 0, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 7. Everywhere along that line, x equals 4. So there's the line of reflection. Okay. Um, 7, which tuba players <coughs> travel? Oh, sorry, before I go on with that, um, there is one little quick thing on that. We can also write this here as r to the x equals 4. And that's the reflection is going to be about the line x equals 4. That's just a little bit different notation that I want you to at least be um, aware of. Okay? Um, 7. Uh, which of the tuba players travel the longest distance during the reflection? Identify this distance. So it's going to be these tuba players right here, right? those guys have to or girls or whoever they are have to go from here all the way over to here right so they've got the the longest so that would be um, everyone along the y-axis so the y-axis players okay and then it says identify this distance well let's see from here to here that's from zero to eight it's gonna be eight and these are all in yards I believe eight yards Okay, which tuba player does not have to travel any distance during the reflection? Well, that's this person right here who is right there at the point because they don't move at all. Everyone else has to move across uh, to their new spot. Okay, so it's the one, the, pl uh, the player, player at the tip of the arrow, right? Okay. All right, um, that's all there is for uh, reflections here. If you have any further questions at all, please feel free to ask in class. Thanks.